Hello, this is Trev2323. I'm going to explain to you today how to back up your Zmodo uh, player. I'll find out what actual model it is. It's the H264. Uh, it's this one right here. I'm going to show you how to uh, back this up. Like say if you catch something on the screen and you want to actually isolate it down, how to, how to isolate it down and then actually how to put it on a thumb drive. I always say have an extra thumb drive just for your Zmodo. My kids all the time, Dad, I need a thumb drive, whatever, whatever. I got this just for my Zmodo that I can back it up on. Okay, now this right here, there's a front USB right here. This one right here don't really work for me. I don't know why. When I put it in that one right there, it, uh, it can't find the drive. So actually, I, I plug it into the USB that's on the back right next to the mouse one. You know, so you got to actually put this in the back side. That's what she said, right? LOL. Anyways, you see you got the screen right here. That's everything you got. Now, if you go ahead and uh, on the remote, there's, there's two ways you could do it. One, if you want to record over it, you right click on. You just get your mouse and you right click on it and all this comes up. And this is actually the re uh, record right here, record search. Okay, but that right there, the record the record search is if you actually know the time and the hour about and what camera you're going to record on. Well, you got to find it first. So, you're going to grab the remote and you're going to hit the menu button on the remote. Let me see, where is it at? The menu button. And then that's when all this comes up right here. All this. So, you want to find where the uh, video was. So, if you go into your maintenance, you can look at your logs. That's log view right there that I'm clicking on. Log view. And then when you get your log view, you can't really tell too good just because of the light. But this is the year, the day, the time, AM, PM, and whatever. So right now, the, the, the time it's going to have right here on this side is actually what time it is right now. So what I found out with the 500 gig with four cameras is what I got with mine. 500 gigabyte hard drive with four cameras is that... I can record and store it for two days. It'll stay on here for two days. But after two days, if I don't need to pull anything off, it'll just overwrite itself. So I know I can have two days of stuff on this. So, say I want to start, it's three o'clock right now. We'll start looking for something at two o'clock. So you put a zero two and then change this to PM. So this is gonna get everything from 2 PM to 3 PM and then you're gonna search. But oh, for some time with these, I gotta click it a couple times. And then it'll see what cameras you got on. Camera 2, uh, there was motion on camera 2, motion with detective. Sometimes it starts recording by itself. That's all camera 2 that happened on that one. And you can see right down here, it's 43 pages. One thing, like, I've noticed that my chairs were moved in the back. So sometimes I ch search it like hour by hour before I isolate it. I start right now and I'll go back an hour. I'll put like from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock. And then I'll search that hour to see if the chairs are already moved. You'll start like right around 2 o'clock to see where the chairs are moved. And if they were already moved say at 2 o'clock, I would go from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock to see if the chairs moved. And if the chairs are moved between 1 and 2, then I would just put it on camera or whatever and let it run fast forward to find out the exact time the camera's moved. You gotta find the time before you could back it up. So that's what I find out right here. You gotta find the time before it's backing up. But like it says, you just go back hour by hour till you find out exactly what you were looking for and then you save that because that's the next step. So today we're gonna find something and let's see, there's motion detection on camera too. So you double click on the arrow right there and it's gonna come up you know that's the footage that came up so here's your little dialogue box right here now you can fast forward here stop it pause it or rewind it okay so and if you've seen I don't know if you caught it a car drove by so the car actually triggered it and that's the first thing that I'm finding out well, for one, this picture right here, it looks clear to you, but it ain't as clear to me from where I'm at right now. I got four cameras. It's about a year old. Two cameras are still crystal clear, but two cameras are a little bit more fuzzy. I don't get the time right now because all I'm going to do is switch the wires, uh, like the cameras out front. I'm going to switch the two wires because one's crystal clear and one's a little bit blurry. So when I switch the wires, if I see the other channel is still blurry, then I know it's going to maybe be the wire. But if I switch the wires and then the, uh, or back and forth. 
if I switch the wires and the other one's still blurry, I know the camera's bad. You know, then I'll have to replace the camera. But if it's not, if it looks the same, that means the wire is bad and I might have to rerun that whole wire. But that's a whole different scenario. I'm just trying to show you how to record it right now. So it's still running right now on one time speed. And uh, there was a car right there, see? So that's that's going to uh, record in two. And if you want, you could fast forward it right here. Two times, four times, eight times, 16 times. So 16 times, it's, it's recording going fast. You see how the car's driving by. Now if you catch something, you gotta pause it. So when you pause it, say, okay, it's right around this time, 205, this so-and-so car drove by. Okay, but here's the thing when you wanna rewind it, you have to have play on it, and then you have to hit the rewind button. And that's how it's gonna rewind. You have to have play on, then rewind it, then pause it again. Now if you hit stop, it's going to take you back to the main screen. Okay, so say at 2.05, we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can find the exact car right here. Play. It's playing right now. We'll see what the time the next car is going to come by at. It's 2.04.31. I put it times 2. Times 3. No times 4. Hmm, I'm not seeing the car right now. I'm just trying to catch something to come by so I can show you when I record it now. There was two of there it goes right there. 20553. So it was 205 uh 205 and 53 seconds is the time that van came by. So okay, we got the time now. So we can close out of this screen. Stop that right there. And then we're in this screen right here. You could close out of this screen. Because we're going to go to another screen now. Close out of that screen. And then when you want to save it, you save and exit. Save and exit. Alright. So it takes you back to the main screen. But I actually leave mine on the remote. I leave it on the quad. Put that down there. I leave it on the quad. Okay, so you get your thumb drive right here. And then, like I said, I don't put it in the front one. I put it in the back one. So let me get around there for you to possibly see it. You can't really see back here, but the mouse is where, where the mouse is at. I got the mouse on the bottom, and I'm putting it right above where the mouse is at. Okay. So it is in the back. It is in the back. Believe me, it's in the back. So then what you do is you come back. Let me try to get focused a little. Okay, there you go. You come back to the screen right here. You can see the mouse. You right-click on that one. And then you right-click again. When the little bar comes up, when the little bar comes up, you right-click to get the little bar on it. Then you right click on the little bar right here. And then you go to record search. Now record search is going to give you all the uh, a time frame. Now this is the time frame that it has recorded up to date. It's in a 24 hour period and on what day that you want to catch. So for, for on the 15th it started recording at 12 a.m. to all the way over here. It's almost, uh, uh, what, what time is it over here? to that'll be 350 it's almost 350 that and these are all recording that that it's recorded now this is the channel which you would want to back up what whatever you found that thing on it was either channel one or channel two that it actually that car drove by on at 205 so i'll back up channel one channel one and channel actually it was channel two i know it was channel two because i'm looking at my channels right now channel two is where it actually was on so now i'm going to back up channel two because channel 2 is the one clicked on. And 205 is 1400. So there's 13. So I'd back up from 1404, 1400. And you click on it. Wherever you click on it. If you mess up, you're going to have to go all the way back and do it again. So from 1400. See the time changes when you roll it. From 1400 to. I want to get as small as possible. Because it's going to be the file is uh, to 1424. So from 1400 to 1424, see that's lit up? So it's gonna record from channel two from 1400 to 1424, and then you're gonna hit the backup button. And it's gonna look for it. See, so the backup device is saying USB. Now here's the thing, it's gonna back it up at MP4, AVI, or H.264 RAW. Believe it or not, I'm not sure which one did I use on this, so I always back it up. 
Okay, now it says backup complete. It'll beep actually pretty loud and say backup complete. Like I said, normally I save it as an AVI and an MP4, but for right now I'm gonna take it as an MP4 and then we'll see if it actually, you know, saved it as an MP4. So I'm gonna take out the thumb drive and go get to my laptop now. Okay, I put the thumb drive in my laptop and I got these arranged by date. And believe it or not, this was the MP4 file and my laptop wouldn't play it. And this is the AVI file. Should be coming up right now. Let's see what we got here. Work with me here. All right, bear with me. It should be coming up. Okay, Trev 2323 here. I'm finishing up the Zmodo thing. You'll never guess what happened. So I went ahead and I started finishing the video and showing you how uh, I had to do the AVI file. And then as I'm showing you on my laptop how to do the AVI file, I'm sitting here talking like I am right now, not realizing I never pressed record on the video. So I thought I finished up. I deleted everything off my thumb drive and my old Zmodo files and put the camera down. But when I pressed when I put the camera down, I actually pressed record and got like 20 minutes of the camera sitting on the table and didn't record me. So I did delete the file that I was trying to show you, but I'm going to show you how I edit to isolate exactly where that file was because I left some files in there. All right, here it goes. Okay, so when I drop my files to the uh, laptop, I have a security camera file. That's where all my security footage goes. I open that up here. So these are my security footage right here. And if you open up where it is, it'll show you that, you know, there's no fast forward button. There's just a pause button, but there's the time that you get the time. But if you do drag it, say you know exactly what time it happens about, you could just drag it over and it'll go ahead to the uh, motion or whatever you need. Change, you'll see the time changes also when you drag it over. It'll, it'll jump to the time right there. So, okay. So you have your file right here. Let's minimize this. Now I use Windows because Windows Movie Maker is free. So you open your Windows Movie Maker and this is how you isolate it just to get your, uh, you know, down so you don't have to uh, have the whole, you know, 20 minutes that you downloaded. So what you do is you just drag, you go to your Zmodo folder and you just drag it into Windows Movie Maker. And then when Windows, when, uh, let's see, it's loading the audio data for it right now. And so with Windows Movie Maker, as soon as this is ready, what you do in Windows Movie Maker is, is it done? Yeah, it's done. Let me make this larger. Okay, so this is the whole video right here. So what you could do in Windows Movie Maker is you go up top and you edit. You edit and then you uh, trim it. You get your trim tool. So this is the whole video right here. This is the whole video. And all you do is you move, say this one right here to the middle right there. This one right here. And you could just get your actual one minute or 30 seconds or whatever you need. And then you just hit save trim. And then all you got is that little bit of section of video. And that's what makes it easier for you to, you know, just save that little file, just save the actual instance. So I took you on to how to actually find the video, how to back it up. On my laptop, it only reads the AVI files. It does not read the MP4 files. But when you drop it to your thumb drive, you'll find out which one it'll play and which one it won't play. So I showed you how to isolate to find it, then how to drop it to your file, how to put it into your laptop. Now the little bit at the end with the Windows Movie Maker was actually just to edit it to get just the exact point where you've seen somebody. Hopefully the information helped. If so, give it a like, thumbs up, and share it. Thanks. Bye.